Sisters Anna Lee, Anna gave her heart to Jesus Christ, and we're going to baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bearing his likeness, raising his glory and resurrection. It's like six something and I'm reading my Bible and my devotions and I'm literally about to cry because I've been praying about this and God literally like answered me through this and I just think that is so, so cool. Whenever I read my devotions, there is like scripture that goes along with the devotion and like I always read all the scripture that goes with the devotion but I'll also like go off into that book that were like whatever went with the devotion and like read other things and there were two different chapters that i felt like i needed to read and i read this one and the whole chapter went along with what i have been praying about it brought tears to my eyes i just think it's so cool like nothing is cooler to me than like the holy spirit talking to me like that and i still have to go read every year but I just want to share that with y'all because I think it's so cool and God truly talks to those who listen to him. Having quiet time with Jesus is super, super important. I do it every single morning before I touch my phone. It makes such a huge difference. I've been reading the Jesus Calling devotion for years and years. My grandmother got it for me, so it's even more like special and sentimental to me. I think she got it in like 2018 or something like that and i just like re read it over and over each year and i highly highly recommend it they have it on amazon and i've even seen them in like walmart and stuff like they have the smaller version but it's it's really really good and then unbridled faith is also super good like if you have horses i love that one and i think that one's on amazon also turned 25 um, on March 1st. He's doing good. Oh man. <laughs> it just started raining. Alright, I'm not really sure if y'all can hear me because it's raining pretty good right now. The plan for today was to plant some more wildflowers because I had planted some wildflowers a couple weeks ago and the ducks the ducks kind of um, ate those I need to go inside but obviously 
thankfully it's raining so I'm not planting anything today I'm probably gonna wait a couple days I have two raised garden beds that I need to put together after there's a break in the rain I'll probably bring those out to the barn so we can put those together I'm probably gonna be putting my tomatoes in them and some other things I need to replant because my chickens ate them. I planted spinach and carrots and the chickens got into them. I have some chickens free ranging right now that I need to find new homes for that were like leftover chicks from last year. I am keeping some of the hens but there's a lot of roosters I need to rehome. I wanted to update y'all on my tomatoes. I'm so excited about them. Hold on one second. I'm kind of stuck in the barn right now. I have blue jeans. I just brought blue jeans in here. Levi is still eating. I didn't know it was about to rain this hard. It's like stormy. The minis are right here. Up underneath that. Oh my goodness. Obviously, this isn't my only cub. Like, I have a bunch over there. But I was talking about this on my TikTok the other day, and I wanted to share it on here as well. But this is when they were a little bit smaller. Whenever I would water them or whatever, they're just so tiny and so delicate that they would move, like, in the soil, like, super easy because the root system is not mature yet. And it just made me think, like, that's how people are in the beginning of their walk with Christ because they're not super rooted in Christ yet. So they fall over easily and they're just like super delicate. And it just made me think about like how important like a good root system is and being rooted in Christ and you won't fall over as easily and you'll be a lot stronger. I feel like God speaks to me the most through like plants and flowers and like nature and like I love it so much. Oh my God. Look at my tomato, it's so cute, it's so cute. I think the rain is starting to slack off a teeny bit now that we're soaking wet. Hi. But I think we are still supposed to get rain this afternoon. Look at her. You so sweet. Here's some more of the tomatoes. And then there's tomatoes in here. These bigger ones are some yellow sweet onions. And then these two right here are yellow sweet onions as well. I'm super, super excited. I'm not 100% sure where I'm putting my raised garden beds quite yet, but I know I need to put them together. So that's probably what I'm going to do today. I also want to plant my sunflowers, but I want to wait until it's not as wet and I don't know where I'm going to put them. I want to put them over there on my fence line, but I think it's going to be too wet over there because sunflowers don't like wet soil so i gotta figure that out can y'all be quiet for two seconds like i wanted to put my sunflowers right here but this is where i planted some of the wildflowers that the ducks ate because i kind of want that to be wildflowers but i want sunflowers there at the same time maybe i could do both i don't know i don't know yet morning y'all it is now the next day um yesterday it was storming so bad like all day i was not able to go back outside to put my raised beds together so we're gonna have to do that another day um, i'm fixing to leave for church it's currently like 8 5 Oh 
All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video here. I'm on my way home from church, but I love and appreciate y'all so much, and I thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.